<laughs> hey guys. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. Good? Yeah. Alex, you're here. Yeah. Where were you the past couple of days? Working on my um, Google Classroom. Oh, where are you? Yeah. Are you in the right week? Um, like, are you in the week of April 14th? Yeah. Huh. Okay, because I was looking at yours this afternoon. And I didn't... I started it today. Uh, I did on Friday, <laughs> I did Thursday, Wednesday, and Tuesday. Okay, but that's what I mean. Like, where have you been the last couple of days if you started today? Oh, I did other, like, other um, Google Classrooms. Okay, so... Uh, you're supposed to do like 30 minutes per class each day. Oh. Because like in school, if you were in school, you'd be in school eight hours and you have an hour for each class. But since you're not in school, we just ask that you do like a half an hour for each class. All right. Like every day. Fernando, como estas? Good, to you? I'm well, thank you. You're not about to eat today? I already ate. You already ate? I haven't ate. There's nothing oh, to eat. Same. I'm hungry. Are you I ate chicken wings. Oh, yeah. You I already ate, ate two? Yep. Yeah, I already oh. ate dessert. Oh my goodness, you're so lucky. Oh, let's see. So, I know I'm hungry. Just to make sure, I'm looking at Alex. Yours looks decent. There might be... There might be something that I can help you with then, Alex. Fernando, did you have any questions about your assignments for this week? No. Fernando, you haven't started your assignment for this week. Which one? Oh, I see. You're, you're missing part of Tuesday. Tuesday. There's like two parts for each day. You did part one, but not part two. Is a writing part? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that one. So, yeah, just go back before you turn it in. Oh, I see. Yeah, you did most of it. Make sure you check because it's easy points. Don't lose the easy points. And Ayub. I am pointing at the moon. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to share my screen with you real quick. Ayub, do you mind if I show yours as an example? Sure. Would you prefer I don't show yours as an example, Ayub? No, you can. Okay, so let's look at Ayub's here. Can you see this? Yeah. Uh Okay, I don't know how to make it bigger. Yeah, I'll, I just noticed that right now. So, oops, okay. You're right, soap cleans us, and that's, that's a good argument. But I just want to make sure, because a couple other people put the same thing, like they put what their own argument was. The question's asking you, what is an author's argument? Does that make sense? Yeah, I have to go fix that. That's fine. I'm just, it wasn't just you, AU. Like, it was a lot of people when I was going through and checking. I think was it I wrote me? the question badly. Was it me, too? Was it me, too? When I read that, um, I read it twice to understand what it meant. At first, I thought it meant what your argument. Mm -hmm. But the second time I read it, it meant, um, what is your argument? No, you're good, Fernando. Yeah, I think that's just my bad, because I didn't, like, write it super well. <gasps> Carla! Hello! Us. I mean, we got more people than last time. Yes, this is lovely. A ver, no voy a poner on mute. Carla, ¿cómo estás? Good. ¿Estás good? ¿Qué cosa es good? Yo, yo no sé qué cosa es good, mi amor. Bien. ¿Estás bien? Bien. ¿Qué bien? ¿Qué has estado mm. haciendo? Ahorita estaba allá afuera. Ay, qué bien. Estábamos, we were just going over some of your work for this week. So I'm just going to share this with my screen with you again. Carlo. There we go. Nope, not it. All right, this is annoying. I know how to use a computer. I don't think I know how to use a computer, guys. So Carlo, this is your assignment for this week. It looks like this. And you have a little partecita that you have to do every day. Does that make sense? Okay. So go in and start it, because the first, it shouldn't take you too long, honestly. Like, I tried to make it easy on you. Like, Fernando, how long did it really take you to do this? Five minutes. Yeah. 
So I, I don't, I don't think it should take you super duper long. I do two slide moves each day. Yeah, that's fine. Make sure you go back and check though, because some of your answers look like they need a little more detail. Okay. And then, did you guys have any questions about your science work for this week? No. 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 Michael already turned hers in. I need to give her a point in blooms. So you didn't have any questions about science for this week? No. No. Was Cami actually working for you? Yeah. No. Kind of. Okay. So again, if Cami doesn't work for you, like on Wednesday, you have to ins insert something from Cami. Yeah. If it doesn't work, just take a screenshot of your work and put it in. Oh, I, I thought you were looking at mine. No, this is for his apparently. Oh, good. Jorge did some of his work. Good for him. So you don't have any questions about science I can help you with? No. Okay. I mean, I'm here for you. Well, if that's the case, then let's, where is it? Let's talk about author's point. What's an author's point? Author's point. Opinion. Good. Their opinion. What else do we call it? Claim, point, point of view, argument. Good. And it's what a person thinks, right? Yeah. So when authors write persuasive texts, they try to give you their opinions. Or not even persuasive texts. Sometimes it can be informative texts. Everybody got an opinion. If I wrote a text about cats and how adorable they are, it would probably be different from the text that you would write about cats, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because I like dogs. Exactly. So your text about cats would have a very different point than mine, wouldn't it, Fernando? Yeah. Yeah. And that's okay. Everybody has their own points. Can you guys see this? Yeah. Do you know pets the movie too. The Secret Life of Pets? Yes, pets too. I haven't seen the second one yet. Don't spoil it for me. Is it good? Very good. <gasps> kind of sad though. Oh. Is it on Netflix or Hulu? Yeah, it's on Netflix. Is it? Okay. Well, now I know what I'm doing tonight while I eat my dinner. Thank you. So you all know The Secret Life of Pets? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Basically, so, cats sneak out of their parents. Yeah. I love this. I love pets. I do too. I love mostly each animal. <laughs> That's good. So just keep in mind when you read, the author's opinion isn't going to be your opinion, right? Because look at this first sentence here. It says, The Secret Life of Pets is a sweet, is it a sweet movie? Sweet story? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, but easily forgettable. What does easily forgettable mean? You forget, you forget about the movie? Yeah, o sea, que no te llama la atención. It's not like anything special. A mí sí. Uh-huh, a mí también. So again, we don't have to agree with the author. This author no. says that it's an easily forgettable story I about don't the unique relationship not only between pets and their owners, but between pets and major cities like New York. It tells how a lovable group of animals, are they lovable? Yes. Yes, they are. Is forced to traverse, that means travel, them on one crazy day. The movie springs from the idea that we don't know what our toys slash pets do while we're gone. In the end, it's too aggressively likable to hate, especially given its strong character design and excellent voice work. So it's saying it's too likable to hate. What does that mean? Like, you, you need to like it more than you hate it? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, we like it more than we hate it. It definitely has more good things than it has bad things. Yeah. 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 But the bad thing about that is because they bite a lot. Well, that's true. And I think they show some of that in the movie, too. Like, the rabbit. Isn't the rabbit the savage one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where was I? I like right. rabbits. <laughs> the I best rabbits. animated movies give us themes. Do you remember what theme is? No. Oh! <gasps> Put an assignment. Put an assignment about it. You don't remember theme? No. Central message. There we go. What's a central message? Central message is what the movie is based on. Okay. Well, the lesson. The lesson. So it says the best animated movies give us lessons to discuss with our kids when they're over and work for both adults and children. That is so true to me. I don't care that I'm an adult. I love that movie. And I think it has great lessons. Do you think? Yes, it does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. It's not just for kids, is it? No. No. My mom sees it too. Yeah. The Secret Life of Pets is the disposable summer diversion that many families will be looking for as temperatures rise and the start of school seems so far away. But most won't be able to remember after they see it. Ouch. So what does this author think about the movie The Secret Life of Pets? That it's unforgettable. It's unforgettable or it is forgettable? Is forgettable. Okay. So it is forgettable. Yep. Okay. Now what does the author say to support it, that? Because you can't the, just give an opinion without supporting it. Um the uh, it gives themes. Hmm. So it teaches lessons? Does that make it forgettable? Oh no. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Let's see. What about right here? It says it's too shallow and forgettable. Do you know what shallow means? Too easy? Yeah. Too, it's just too, too blah. Too boring? Yeah. It's not boring though. It's not, but again, that's what this author thinks. Who wrote this text? Um, I don't know. I got it online. I put the website right there. I don't know. What about this? Most won't be able to remember it after they see it. Does that tell me that it's forgettable? I still remember. You're right. But does the author say that that's a reason to make it forgettable? Yeah, because it tells you when you see it, you will forget it. Yeah. So again, we don't agree with the author. But no. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I just found it online. I think maybe you'll agree with this one. Have you guys seen... Um, what is this? Is this Mario? Yeah, Mario Kart. Oh, yeah, it is Mario Kart 8. Have y'all played Mario Kart before? Yes, I have it in my Nintendo Switch. Oh, isn't it fun? Yeah. I'm too poor. Oh. You've never played Mario Kart, Ayub? No. Oh. Carla, have you ever played Mario Kart? I have. You have? Yeah. Alex, have you played? No. No? All right, so your homework after you finish all of your Google Classroom work, Alex, yeah. is to play Mario Kart. All right. Okay. Oh, I'm, I won't move it. I it play says, more Fortnite. Oh, maybe yeah. play Mario Kart before Fortnite. Is no. Mario Kart on iPod? I don't think so, AU. I just I need to get my level up <laughs> to get a Golden Midas. <laughs> So it says the Nintendo Switch covers a lot of bases. It's a handheld, it's a game console, and someday, hopefully, it will be a central hub for all the Nintendo games, present, future, and past. In that sense, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is a test run for the Switch. Do you know what a test run is? No. So when Great. companies do test they run, test. They, hmm? test. they test it. Yeah. So they yeah. don't like sell it to the whole world right away. They'll sell it to a small group of people to see if that group of people likes it or to see if it has any bugs in it or errors and then they can fix it. Oh. So it's saying that Nintendo is using Mario Kart 8 as a test run for the Switch to see if it can replace the Wii and the Wii U. Can the Switch handle one of the best Wii U games ever made? I've been playing Mario Kart on the Nintendo Switch, and the quick answer is yes. The Nintendo Switch version of Mario Kart is superior. What does superior mean? Best. Mm, super. What does super mean? Good. Good. Yeah. Is Mario old? Yeah, Mario's kind of old. He's been around since before I was a kid. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe feels fast fun and it's got a ridiculous amount of tracks and characters to choose from yep. the switch game includes both separately sold add-on track and character packs on the wii u as well as a few extra battle modes for multiplayer that's 48 tracks holy cow eight multiplayer arenas and 42 characters you can recess so what does the author think about mario kart 8 pretty lame no pretty pretty superior 
<laughs> superior. What's another word I can use for superior? superior? Pretty exciting. It was pretty exciting. And what reasons did the author give for saying that Mario Kart was exciting? They gave that there's a lot of, like, it could be multiplayer and there's a lot of races. Good. So it has and a lot of tracks. Lot what else did it have? Um, Sorry, I took the text away. That was Characters. So Characters. Oh, that's not it. Where'd I put it? There it yeah. is. Has a lot of characters, you're right. So multiplayer. Okay, the author's point is that Mario Kart is superior. Where does it say multiplayer? Right there. Right there. Where? Right there where it's multiplayer. Multiplayer arenas and 42 characters. Oh, oh, oh. Eight multiplayer arenas, thank you. And 42 characters you can race as. And 48 tracks. What else about the game is fun? Um, there, there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Look at the beginning of the third paragraph. Beginning? Uh-huh. Car A, paragraph. car A, do you feel as fast, funny, goes with different amount of tracks. There we go. Just fun. Does that tell me that it's fun? I mean, it says yes. it, it's fun right there, right? Yep. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the author's point is the reasons that the author gives? Yeah. Yeah? No. No, no the, the author's yeah. point, Alex. No. What's the author's point, Alex? That Mario. Oh. Well, in general. Mario like, 8 is Deluxe is fun, exciting. So if you had to tell me what an author's argument is, like if you had to explain this oh, to a little opinion, kindergartner, what would you say? Plain point of view. Uh -huh. okay. But what's point of view? Um, what they think of. Okay, so it's what they think. Yeah. And if I walked up to you and I said to you, I think that cats are the most adorable animals in the world and you should all have four cats just like me. But I, I didn't support my opinion. Would you believe me? Or would you no. think I'm a little crazy? I would believe you. You would believe me just like that? Yeah. All right, what if I walked up to you and I said, I am queen of the world, bow down and worship me? No, 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 no. No, no that's crazy. So be careful what people tell you, because if people don't give you reasons to support their opinions, they're a little, Ooh. or they're not very convincing, are they? No. Oh. They just say it because they right. think they're the best. Like if I go up to my mom and say, mom, I need $100, but I don't tell her why. Is she going to give me $100? No, but no. you have reasons why. Yeah. Or if your mom's they like my mom, even if I give her reasons why, she's still not giving me $100. Yeah, mommy, either. Maybe Only if she gives me like five bucks. Yeah. That's a reasonable amount. Pretty much or even one penny. <laughs> Just one penny? Yeah. yeah. When I was a kid, you could buy a piece of candy for one penny. I don't think you can anymore, but when I was a kid, you could. Aww. I'm old. I know. The world is a sad place now that we can't buy candy yeah. for a penny. Pretty sad. <laughs> well, that's all I have for you. Did you need anything from me? No. No. You sure? I'm, I'm sure. Okay. I was just, so. just going to pin myself so I could look bigger. Oh, okay. So remember, you have math with Miss Sandy tomorrow? Yep. Yeah. And then it's the weekend, and then you'll have math with Miss Sandy on Monday, and I won't see you again until Tuesday. Okay? Uh, okay. So have a good weekend. Go outside and play, and play Mario Kart. Okay. Like I said, I'm not that rich. Well, that's okay, you. Then go outside and play. Pet okay. your cats for me. We don't right? have to use imagination. Yeah. Okay, bye. Bye, guys. Hey, use your imagination, you. Yeah. <laughs>